Look at this volume. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Hello. So I wanted to do an updated tutorial on my DIY hair strengthening styler. I have a few updated tools like this nut milk bag and proper containers I can use instead of those flimsy cupcake holders, as well as cuter containers for my main ingredients. If you've seen my original video on this, you know that I use white rose petals that I dried myself, but now I'm using these rose petals that I got from Etsy, the same place where I got my hibiscus flower petals, and of course the main ingredient, fenugreek seeds. I believe everything else is the same, so now to get started. Okay, so I already have three tablespoons of the hibiscus flower petals as well as the rose petals. So now I'm going to add three tablespoons of the fenugreek seeds. And then I'm going to add four cups of hot water. I'm going to give this a quick mix. Okay, and that's it. We're going to cover this and leave it steeping for 8 to 12 hours. I'm going to go ahead and let mine steep overnight, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hello, good morning. It has been 12 hours. Tea is looking good. So now we're ready to strain it. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is take this huge measuring cup. Take the nut milk bag. Put it in the measuring cup. Then, this might be a little messy, but we're gonna pour in the tea directly in. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna squeeze out all the goodies from the ingredients. You want to get as much of that slime out because that's going to be the gel that gives you that cast that a typical gel gives your hair. It doesn't smell bad at all, especially because of the hibiscus and the rose. Those two smell so dang good. You don't even need to add any essential oils or anything when it comes to covering up nasty smells. Alrighty. Looks like I squeezed out everything I could out of those. So I'm ready to transfer this into the silicone containers. So I believe these are two by two. Okay, so we're gonna fill each one in. So, this is how much four cups makes. We're gonna go ahead and put the lids on them. put them in the freezer. I forgot to mention that I rinsed out the nut milk bag so it can be reused. Now I have this that I previously made and froze so I'm gonna show you guys how I take one out to defrost. So I have this measuring cup that goes up to one cup. I'm gonna just take one out without disturbing the others. bit of a task, not gonna lie. Perfect. Perfect cube. And I'm gonna stick that in, fill up the measuring cup up to one cup. 
So I'm gonna let this defrost and then show you guys how I'm gonna apply this to my hair. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, the ice cube has melted and has mixed well with the water. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the spray bottle. I went ahead and um, co-washed my hair using this new co-wash that I got from Hinesu. It's infused with shikakai, rosemary, tangerine, and clara sage. I used to co-wash my hair with basically just regular conditioner, but this actually makes your hair feel clean. So I really, really like this. And it makes your hair soft and pretty tangle-free. So anyway, I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I'm just gonna put this in my pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair. As some of you might know, this is all I put in my hair. I don't put any kind of leave-in conditioner or any kind of gel, styler, cream, mousse. This is a all-in-one strengthening styling tea. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair and just wait for it to air dry. So I'll be back when it finishes air drying. Okay, so it's been about two hours. My hair is fully air dried. So I'm gonna do a shake and rake to start us off. Then scrunch out any cast any gel cast that the fenugreek seed extractions left behind. And a boom, we're done. <laughs> wow. Look at this volume. <laughs> so that concludes my updated DIY hibiscus rose fenugreek seed strengthening styling spray, tea spray. That's kind of a long name, but that's what it is. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section down below. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. See ya.